everyone. Today I want to talk about preserving the limes. I'll show you how I preserve my limes. I have so many limes on my trees that I cannot even make enough lime juice, you know, use a lime for anything. So I decided to make some preserve. The way I do is I pick the limes and then let it sit on the counter, you know, or garage or whatever you want to let it sit for about at least a, a week. What I um, do is to let the, the oil in the skin of the lime or lemon uh, dry out so that when you preserve it, it doesn't have that really, really sharp taste in the skin. So what I did is, okay, let it sit on the counter for uh, about a week. After that, I cut them into like about four to six pieces from one lime or lemon. You know, you can use lemon, but I'm using lime. And then when you, when before you cut it, after you, like, you have to wash it really, really good, really good, because I grow them from my tree and. I just wash them with, with water. If you buy from the store, you probably need to wash it with a little bit of salt. But um, you know what, you know, rub it with the salt and then rinse it up and then let it dry. Make sure that your fruit is absolutely dry before you use it and then you cut it. After cutting it, I'm putting it in like any uh, glass jar, any type of jar is fine. If you have the jar with the, with the lid on, that is fine. So you put a little bit in, put a little bit of salt in, and then put a little bit more. You don't have to press it, you don't have to do do anything, That's, that is fine. You can put as many as you can in one jar. Okay, now again, I'm gonna put a little bit more salt. Just regular, you know, table salt. You don't have to use sea salt or anything like that. But if you want to, you can use that, but it is not necessary. So now I have one more layer, put a little bit more. And one more layer. You put as much as it can fit in. salt so I try to do it so that you have a salt in every layer and every piece of um, lime is touching the salt otherwise it's not going to be good so I'm going to press it just a little bit down so that I can put all of them in here so now that all of them are here I'm going to put more salt in a little bit more and then you can cover it. So if it is the jar with the lid, sure you can put the jar on, but if it is not, you can actually cover it with kind of like cling foil. So this one is, is pressed and, and sealed. So I make sure that I'm gonna press it it should be kind of airtight, right? It doesn't have to be super, super airtight, but it should be airtight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the rubber band around it. I can probably do it like second round to make sure that this is tight. So it's as, as simple as that, right? It can be, if you have a jar with the lid, that's fine. This is what I do in about, about a, 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 a you know a few weeks it will start to wilt down in about a few months depending on the, the the situation you can put it in the sun you can totally put it in the sun outside you can leave it indoor by the sunny window it's fine you can put it anywhere and then then you can let it sit and this is after about a few months I started this about three months ago now it is in this situation it's almost ready for use i'm going to have another episode of using the preserved line but this episode is just to show you how i preserve my limes from my back yeah that's it everyone i'll see you next time for how to use these limes bye